In order to view microorganisms under a microscope, the specimens must be correctly prepared. In this lab, we will explore the world of microbiology as we learn how to properly prepare specimens to be viewed under a microscope. Then we will look at protozoans as well as several other microorganisms. To see the details of a specimen when viewing it with a compound microscope, the specimen must be extremely thin so that light can shine through it. Because tiny microorganisms, such as protozoans, are usually quite thin, their external and internal structures can be seen with a compound microscope. To view a sample of a larger, thicker specimen, such as a woody dicot stem, a thin slice of the specimen is needed. Prepared microscope slides often contain thin cross-sections of a specimen sealed in an airtight, watertight medium. Under the scanning objective lens, we can see the layers of this woody dicot stem. Under a higher magnification, we can see individual cells. This is a prepared slide of an onion root tip. In this slide, we can see cells in the process of reproducing by mitosis. Mitosis will be studied in detail in a future lab. Larger or thicker objects can be examined with a compound microscope without being sliced, but we may only see the outline of the specimen and some of its surface details. This is a view of a housefly's leg with the scanning objective lens of a compound microscope. This is the same specimen at a higher magnification. Making a permanent mount slide, like the ones we have seen so far, requires special equipment and handling, so it is often easier to purchase these from biological supply companies. However, a wet mount technique can be used to prepare certain specimens for viewing. Wet mount slides are particularly useful for observing specimens such as protozoans or blood cells in a liquid environment. To demonstrate the steps in preparing a wet mount slide, we will use a tiny piece of printed type cut from a newspaper. We start with a clean glass slide. Forceps are used to place the specimen in the center of the slide. A pipette is used to place a drop or two of water to cover the specimen. Now it is time to add a cover slip. A cover slip is a thin square piece of glass or plastic used to cover a wet mount. The cover slip serves three purposes. First, it protects the specimen from dust and other contaminants. Second, it flattens the drop of water to reduce the amount of glare and reflection that would affect the image. Third, it prevents liquids from damaging the objective lenses if the stage is accidentally raised too high. To keep from transferring anything to the cover slip that might interfere with our view of the specimen, we grasp the cover slip by its side edges without touching the center. Now, we gently lower one edge of the cover slip onto the slide beside the drop of water. The object is to lower the cover slip into place without trapping any air bubbles. If bubbles do become trapped between the slide and the cover slip, lift up the cover slip and lower it again. If any water squeezes out when lowering the cover slip, use a paper towel to blot up the excess water. Now, we are ready to view our specimen. We will follow the steps we practiced in the previous lab to position the slide and focus the image of the specimen. Under the scanning objective lens, our specimen looks like this. Watch now as we switch to the low power objective lens. At any higher magnification, the image would be hard to see clearly. Now, we will put our knowledge of the microscope to use as we explore the world of microbiology. Microbiology is the study of microorganisms and microscopic structures. We will examine some of the microorganisms living in pond water. A concave slide has a concave depression to hold a greater amount of water than would be possible with a flat slide. We place several drops of pond water in the depression of the concave slide. Use as many drops as necessary to fill the depression, and then cover it with a cover slip. Let's see what kinds of microorganisms are living in this drop of pond water. The water is teeming with protozoans. 
Here are a pair of Paramecia. Here is another protozoan. It is an amoeba forming a false foot, or pseudopod. In addition to protozoans, we see algae. Notice the Volvox colony with several daughter colonies inside the parent colony. Here are some filamentous algae called Spirogyra. Who would have thought that just a drop of water would be teeming with so much life? The microscope opens up a whole new world of microbiology to us. In our next two labs, we will be returning to the study of anatomy as we dissect a fetal pig. At this time, proceed with the corresponding activities. <laughs>